Standing by you and I think I want to forever And after all has come and gone through all the years I can't believe the moment's finally here And you Hey everybody, it's Iggy from Iggy Creates. I am excited to finally release my dream address for my island called Shipwreck. I made this island back in June to have an Animal Crossing wedding. Little did I know that the pandemic would hit us on our actual wedding date. So it worked out having this virtually. I'll be showing you around and talking about what each area is and then showing some cinematic shots that I took from my AC wedding short film that I posted. Before we start this tour, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll post the dream address down in the description. Okay, so this first area is the open bar and reception area. I usually try to trap a villager or a harp behind here to serve us drinks. Over to the left, we have the garden area. Uh, and this is where we take our wedding photos. I guess all my villagers want to hang out here today. Behind here is a huge maze that I built, which is made for a four-player co-op escape room. The maze usually takes an average of 45 minutes, and I host it for VIP members in my Discord server because it takes a lot to coordinate. VIP members are those who support my channel or Discord financially. If you have any questions about it, feel free to message me on Discord. Anyways, I've been holding off on uploading my dream address because I didn't want people to be able to see the maze ahead of time. I've since blocked it off with gates so no one can look unless invited. Heading back over to the right side, we have the wedding reception area. We have a live DJ. We have a photo booth that uploads directly to Twitter. And we also have a live performances with a pianist and um, a singer. I probably should try to update the food here with new food items, but we'll leave it there for now. Here's an overhead shot of the reception site at nighttime. Lastly, heading towards the middle is a wedding ceremony site. If you haven't noticed already, I really love the hyacinth flowers. Alright, let's take a look inside. I spent a lot of time on the interior design on this island because I really wanted the, the wedding house to stand out. Starting with the middle room is the lobby. I used the white wedding wall to give it a courtyard feeling. I added some wall mounted items to represent the different rooms as you can see with the lion. Let's start with the top room. This is where we conduct meetings with the wedding coordinator. I'm a big fan of the wedding decoration flowers on the walls here too. Let's head over to the right to the groom's ready room. It's pretty cozy in here. And I played some Smash Bros with my groomsmen in here on the TV. And this is the outfit that I wore on the day of the wedding. Going to the left is the bride's getting ready room. So this is the wedding dress that she wore. It's a, one of, it's a custom design. I actually like this way better than the cake dress you see. It's hard to see in here because of the lighting, but it looks really good in, in, um, on the character, as you can see in the video. Wow. 
So downstairs, we have the tea ceremony room. As mentioned in my previous interior design videos, I really enjoy using items to light up the room. Lastly, upstairs we have the suite. Again, I split the room in two by using simple panels. This time I used the marble flooring and covered up the bedroom side with the wooden deck rugs. Well, that's pretty much all for the island. I hope you all have fun visiting my dream address. Comment below what your favorite parts of my island are and if you visited. See you in the next video where I'll release my Japanese theme island called Halcyon.